All right, I'm going to show you what I discovered about open-ended answers in worksheets. So this is me. I was a student, and I submitted a terrible, terrible, terrible example. So don't judge me. So it says auto score 0 of 7. So you see all these red boxes. Okay, those are the things that, as the student, I didn't do. I didn't answer those questions. Okay, now it says teacher score. And this is where I was kind of playing with just to see what would happen. I have one open-ended um, answer, okay? <clears throat> and I made a very tiny box on purpose just to see what would happen. So this is a lesson that I don't want to make a tiny box for open answer, um, the open-ended answer, okay? But notice how it has a spot here for teacher score. This is the part where I actually have to grade it. So I decide. And you can either use the up and down arrows or just click a number. Um, and if I want to decide this was out of 10, okay, it could be 20, it could be whatever number I want here, okay. It just has to be, so you can see I can keep adding numbers. I just added a ridiculous number, okay. So if I say it's out of 10, okay, I can add a comment here. This is incomplete, okay. Um, and I can print it if I want. If this was um, an essay or something longer, I can absolutely print it. Um, and then I can return it to the student so they're going to be able to see it. So then I click return to student. Okay. And my comment is this is incomplete. All right. And then I'm going to close it. So that's how you can adjust the score. Notice how the score changed. And if I look at it again, the auto score that none of those questions, right? That was me and then three out of 10 for my piece, okay?